Hello again. Today we are going to be talking about piecewise linear models. So here's an example. John starts biking to work and after an hour he gets a flat tire and has to walk the rest of the way to work. So there's a graph of the time that has passed and the distance that he has traveled in that time. Time is measured in hours and distance is measured in miles. So we need to find his cycling speed and his walking speed. So the endpoints for the first linear piece where I'm assuming he was cycling are 0, 0 and 0.75 comma 6. Those are the two endpoints. So the slope between those is the change in y over the change in x, which is 6 over 0.75, and that is 8. So his biking speed is 8 miles per hour. Now for the walking piece, which has a, a lesser slope, the endpoints there are 0.75 comma 6 and 1.5 comma 8.25. So the slope between those is going to be uh, 2.25 over 0.75, and that is 3. So that means his walking speed is 3 miles per hour. All right. Now let's talk about a different example where we have a pencil company charging $5 for a case of pencils. But after the third case, they only charge $3 per case. So we're going to graph a linear piecewise model for this. And we're going to find the cost of buying seven cases. So there's my graph. Cases of pencils is along the bottom and the cost in dollars is on the y-axis. So for five dollars per case, I can use the endpoints of zero, zero, meaning if I buy zero cases, I spend zero dollars, and 315, meaning that if I buy three cases, that's going to buy, that's going to cost me fifteen dollars. After that, I can buy four cases for eighteen dollars five cases for $21, and so on. So there's my piecewise uh, linear model right there. And so I can predict that if I buy, if I wanted to buy seven cases, that would cost me $27. So it's a piecewise model, and I can use it to find data points that I don't already have, and I can use it to predict uh, data points that go beyond the data that I already have. All right, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.